hey guys so this is another rant i hate rants but i i need to know am i the only one that experienced these kind of things and i'm i'm just about to give up because it's just irritating me i already been on the edge with new businesses and the stuff that's been going on but now i just think i'm gonna stick to my tried and true and just give up on trying other companies because this is getting ridiculous so sorry for looking ratchet i'm getting ready to go to bed and this just came up and i just gotta talk about it and get it out before i go to bed thinking about it i hate going to bed mad but anyway so all right it's not that serious i know but <laughs> um has anybody tried thank god i'm natural Okay, so I had planned on ordering things from all these companies on Black Friday. Good, I didn't because I need my money in my pocket for other things. But um, I did have this long list of um, things I wanted to try. Not like big orders from different companies, but just small things until, you know, I started checking out shipping prices or whatever and... Some of, it, some of it just canceled. It canceled out the sale um, because of the shipping being so high. And some of it actually went over and beyond what um, they were offering for sale. So I didn't. Long story short, um, Black Friday, I, I hesitated. Didn't get anything from Thank God I'm Natural because they were the same way. Once you started adding up the shipping, you would end up paying a regular price. So I said, okay, well... I'm I'm not in a hurry because I can at this you know at this rate I can just get it at the regular price. So I've been trying to try out some of their products for three days now, and for some reason I kept getting charged a shipping fee. Now I'm looking at reviews saying it's free shipping, and you know how I feel about shipping, so that was like right up my alley. And um, then I went on the page itself and it said free shipping. But for some reason, you know, I kept getting charged a shipping fee. And so I'm just like, okay, what am I doing wrong? So, you know, I waited and waited and waited. Been checking on the Facebook. I actually um, posted something on the Facebook saying, you know, I thought it was free shipping. What's going on? And it's still on there if you want to check it out. And, um... They, they replied to me that they don't know what's wrong. All of their full-size items um, are uh, have free shipping. So, you know, if they if I get them my invoice, they'll fix it. But, I'm, you know, I'm explaining to her that invoice, I wouldn't buy it if, if it's showing shipping. And the page clearly says ain't no shipping. So, um, didn't get a reply back. And so I replied again, hey, did you fix the issue with the shipping? Never got a reply. I checked back on the site, still adding shipping. And then today I go on there and I see a big thing saying, until Christmas, free shipping over $50. So I'm like, hmm. So you lied. You just flat out lied to me. So either one, you know, you went, you seen the comment and then you, you, I don't know what happened, but that's just false advertisement. I don't understand how these people think, um, this is acceptable. I'm so tired of companies doing unacceptable things and people accepting it and steady purchasing. You know, this is why these companies never change because you, the consumer, not you, but you know what I'm saying? People who buy their products don't require them to um, uh, boost their standards or either or even just be professional. It's not it, it's it's. It's not even about doing better. It's about at least being standard. It's a standard, people. It's a standard that these companies have to pass, you know, without even, you know, um, being uh, extravagant or anything. It's just a standard, you know, like you have to be honest, you know, <laughs> You need great customer service. You need to at least answer emails and answer, you know, stuff like that. Update customers. Um, ship in a reasonable amount of time. All of these are industry standards. These are not 
you know, oh, please, this is not a big a plea. This is not something we're asking you to go over and beyond about. It's just the standard. If you have a business, there are certain standards that you have to uphold, you know, to have customers and have a great, healthy, honest business. I don't get it. Um, it's another company. I'm not going to say their name until my stuff come out. I don't need folks spitting in my stuff putting pubic hairs in my stuff i don't know i don't trust at this point i just don't trust these people i don't i don't understand what type of ethics what type of morals they have i'm just not understanding where their mindset is so anyway i ordered from this company first time ordering from this company this is from black friday um today is december the 11th 10th i don't know i don't even know what day it is i'm at so, um, hadn't get, I didn't get a um, receipt. I didn't get any updates. Went on their page, didn't see any updates. So, you know, I simply and politely said, you know, this is my first time ordering. Um, so, I was wondering, would I get a receipt? Do I get any um, updates on what's going on with my order? Because when I went to the site to check on the order, there was no way to check on it. You know, you know how you usually go on the site and it either say processing or shipped out or something like there was no way to check it that way. I didn't get a receipt. The only way I know that I actually paid for it is because I paid through PayPal, you know, but other than that, no update. So this chick tells me, um, what, what she, what she write back? Um, thanks for your order and, um, I'll update you when there's an update to give you basically and, um, pay, copied and pasted, uh, 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 terms and conditions from her website basically saying that shipping could take from this amount of days to this amount of days. I didn't ask you when my stuff was going to ship out. I asked you how to uh, how to know, you know, if you received the order, how would I know? Um, if it's processing, how would I know? That's what I'm saying. How do I get an update on my order that I didn't already paid you for? I don't understand what these people don't get about it. You know, why they think that it's acceptable and that you should accept shipping that takes a month. Not doing sales, but all year round. Why is that acceptable? I don't understand it. Like, when I come gripe to you that it's a problem for me. Like, I don't understand why these people is trying to figure out when I'm going to get their stuff out. I'm going to get their stuff out when I get their stuff out. And they should stop bugging me. Uh, Bjorch. You got my money. So, therefore, I need to know when my stuff coming. I'm just irritated. I mean, I've learned my lesson. So, those places that continuously have lacking or lagging shipping or lacking customer service, I would definitely not purchase. For, I don't care if that stuff is made of gold. I would not be purchasing because you have to understand if you know a sale is coming up, I know people be saying, oh, it's fresh. Well, listen, I'm sure your product should have at least a six-month shelf life. Now, if you can't make and pack products a week in advance to help you not be so far behind, um, if it ain't fresh from that week of of making and packing I don't want it no way because if it's gonna be old after however long you come to me after packing a week in advance then I don't want it no way I don't get that you know if the product work it work you know I got products that's years old and it still work the same I don't know nothing about no fresh it sound like an excuse to me but anyway I digress I just want to come on and talk to you um, about, you know, these little situations. Have you had them? How do you feel about it? I know some people say if the product is good, they'll still buy. But I just don't get that. Like, you cannot expect a company get to get better. That's why companies need constructive criticism so they can get better. But if you keep letting that low standards be your standard, then all of us, you know, all of us, um, you know, going to have a problem with that. It makes it bad, bad for the ones who know what good customer service, what's the standard of 
you know, these businesses supposed to be. I can't even talk. I'm just, I'm done. Um, y'all tell me what y'all think about it. Am I overreacting? You know, is it a big deal to you? You know, I, I don't think I'm asking for too much. All right, guys. Talk to you later.